you're actually pretty good at this joint. You got this joint like mastered. Yo, this game is hard as hell, dude. I don't know how you do it. I definitely want to see you get an A in this game. Allies. Friends are like allies. What's going on YouTube? Straight pickups. I got some good shit. Well, I got good games, but let me just let me just let me just get on with this, man. This is probably gonna be a long video, so. All right, I got me some sweaters, crew necks. I'm gonna show you that first because it's not as many. I um, found these at the thrift. Dark gray Maryland sweater, crew neck. This is a more current one. This is fresh. That's why I bought it because it was fresh. It was brand new, man. Pretty much, it was dark gray. My size. Um, then I got me, uh, another Maryland one, but this one's, uh, this one's more old school vintage one. It's the old Terrapin, it's a red one, all red, with the white letters. I got me another red one. This is just a regular Tommy Hilfiger one. This is one I want to look nice and sharp, looking good. Got that classy Tommy. Um, and I got me an old school ca Washington Capitals. Um, it's a navy blue, um, CCM, NHL, this is a thick, this is a thick one, that will keep me warm. And then, my boy, he shops at, uh, TJ Maxx, and he was like, hey man, you trying to go TJ Maxx? And I was like, sure, why not, we had nothing else to do, um, I don't shop there, not that it's, not that I feel it's wrong or anything, I mean, I, don't, I just don't go there, but, uh, I wasn't planning on buying anything, I was just gonna go just to chill with him, until I saw this shit. These two giants, I had to buy these, so I'm a sucker for Letterman looking jackets. I found the black chest with the white sleeves, like a Letterman sweater jacket. Yeah, it's the 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 sleeves aren't aren't leather, so so I got me the black one, and then I got me a navy blue with gray sleeves. So I got me those two. Oh man, <sighs> dope! And they were cheap, man. They were like fourteen ninety nine each, so I got those. Um, all right, I got me uh, some comic books. I didn't get too many. I got uh, Deadpool number 62. I believe the next issue, 63, is going to be the last issue of this series. Um, and then they're starting over number one again. So, yeah, I got all of them so far. So I just need the next one. And complete full run of a Violent 3 or 4, whatever it is. Um, the next ones are just... Um, I got all seven of the New Mutant Annuals. So I got, you know, the first one, and I ended up getting these, uh, all these were in one lot on eBay, I got it for like three bucks. So I did this one, I believe this is the first appearance of, uh, Psylocke? I don't know. I could be fucking wrong, I don't know. And I got this one, and then, you know, fourth, I think the fifth one's pretty cool, got Richter and Boom Boom in it. The sixth one. And the seventh one. So I got all seven new mutant annuals. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I got tons of games here. I got good games. I got some good games. Good games. All right. Uh, let me just show you this one. Let me just show you the three PS2 games I copped. Rise of Kasai. This is the sequel to... Uh, the Mark of Cree, there you go. I haven't played any of them, but I heard they're dope. I gotta hook up my PS2 and start playing these, because I've been picking up a lot of good PS1, PS2 games. I um, found this at the Thrift, Dot Hack Mutation Part 2. Three bucks, I think. Came with two discs. Yeah, it came with two discs. One of them's a DVD. I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know anything about that game. And then I found this R-Type Final. If you watch my Thrift trip, then... Uh, you saw me find this. They had a they had a whole they had a bunch of good games at the thrift, but they're all beat, man. Them discs were torn apart. This was the only good disc that looks like it could actually work. Um, found me three PlayStation. No, sorry, three Genesis games. Found this at Goodwill for a buck ninety nine cents. The Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants. I didn't even know this was on a Genesis. I always thought this was a Nintendo game, but that was complete for a dollar. Got DJ Boy. I bought this at a retro store because uh, it was cheap and it's a beat em up. So, 
And then somebody, a long time ago, somebody told me about this game on YouTube. I forgot who it was, but they said, this game is dope, man. You got, if you like side-scrollers, you got to get this game. And so I got Mystic Defender. It's complete. Got it at the retro store. So, yeah. I, wear, I don't know if the person's still watching my, my channel, but you might know who you are. You you recommended that game like a year ago to me. So. Um, all right. I got me one Saturn game. The Night Warriors, if you guys saw my luckiest day update, or not so lucky day. person was supposed to send me Night Warriors instead of Dragon Force. So they finally sent it to me, and I sent them Dragon Force back, so. Game is dope! Ah, I love Night Warriors, or Darkstalkers Revenge, or whatever. Yeah, so, got me that. Uh, okay, I got four long box PS1 games. The first one I got on eBay because I had the greatest hits, but I wanted the real long box, and that's Rayman. I can't stand greatest hits. If I have a greatest hits game, that's not part of my collection. I have Mega Man 8 on greatest hits, and I don't want that shit because I want the real black label. So, got this. And then the next three I found at a thrift store for, I don't know, man, maybe two bucks each or something. I got loaded. These are all complete. Um... I got In the Hunt, which I already had, but I had it in the CD jewel case version. I didn't want that. I want the original one that first released. So I got this. Now, I'm not going to keep the other one. I'm just trade that in or something, but I don't like having doubles of games. And then I found Fade to Black, which I've never heard of this. It looks it looks like one of those really old school like games from 95, 1996, whatever. All right. Um, let me see, what should I show you next? Okay. Alright. I got me three box N N64 games. Now, a lot of people know, I'm not a big fan of the N64. And I talk shit about it a lot. Now, people get people get it twisted. People people mistake in my hate, hatred towards N64 as, like, a system I, I think is the worst system. I, they think, I, I think... They think that I think it's the worst system on the planet. I don't collect for it. It's mistaken. I collect the N64. Now, when I talk shit about it, I'm not talking shit about it in the way that it's the worst console on the planet. Now, the worst there's some worst consoles on the planet. Like, 3DO is fucking shitty. But when I talk shit about the N64, I talk shit about it because I'm talking shit about it being compared to its previous consoles. Like, N64 is some shit compared to the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo, alright? I think the N64 is, honestly, is probably, like, it's either tied with the GameCube as Nintendo's, one of Nintendo's worst consoles. I mean, you could always say the Virtual Boy was bad, but I don't, I think N64 is overrated. I don't think it's the worst console on the planet. It has some good games. I mean, Smash Brothers is good. I love Smash Brothers. Star Fox 64 is good, but, like... The only reason why I think it's overrated is because PS1 is way better than N64. And everybody always wants to say that N64 is better than PS1. Which is not fucking true. There's, it's, not, it's not even based on opinion. It's based on facts. And PS1 is way better than N64. But having said all that, I'm going to show you the N64 boxes I got. Fighter's Destiny. I already had this game. I had this game for a minute. So, yeah. Tonic Trouble and Fighting Force. I got the box for Fighting Force 64. I already I got the game at the at the thrift store for a buck not that well, a while ago. So yeah, not my favorite system to collect. I don't look for N64 games, but I do want my games boxed. I don't want them shits loose. So now you understand. N64 is garbage compared to Super Nintendo and Nintendo. And PS1. PS1 is way better than Super Nintendo. I don't fucking care what anybody says. I don't care what you say. Alright. So I got <laughs> PS1 games, man. Let me show you some PS1 games. In the jewel case. I showed you PS1 games, but in the long box. Alright, first two games I bought together in one auction. It's uh, Mega Man X4. And Mega Man X6. I already had Mega Man X5. So I just needed those two. So that was a perfect auction for me. Um, I found Dino Crisis at the thrift for $1.50. Really good condition. Both discs. MDK. 
I have the second one for Dreamcast. I want the first one. Uh, Monkey Hero. Um, I went to Goodwill. I found this. The game was missing from the case, so I asked them if, how much they would sell me the, the case for, and they said I could take it for free. So I got a free Jet Moto 2 case. I already had the game. I had the game. I just didn't have the I had it. I had it blank in a blank CD case. So now I got it complete. Finally, man. I didn't want to rebuy that shit just to get it complete. And then my friend gave me a free PS1 game. Out of all the PS1 games he had, this was the only game I didn't have, so he gave it to me for free. Siphon Filter 3 complete. I don't have part two. Every time I find part two at a thrift, it's always greatest hits, so I just leave it there. And then my luck changed, all right? I found a rare game. I don't know if it's rare, but it's expensive game. I found it for $1.50. I almost missed it, too, because I couldn't read the, the label on it because it was upside down. But I found it. The shit was mint. I was happy. I was siced. And I found Toba, too. Tomba 2 for a dollar fifty. This game goes for like over sixty, sixty-five, seventy dollars on eBay, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, man, it's funny because I I have the original Tomba and I found that at the thrift store as well for two bucks. So I found both Tombas at the thrift store, and I got this one cheaper for a dollar fifty. So my luck changed, man. I'm telling you, my friend. My, one of my boys, he, he claims I have, like, real super luck. Because I find some of the coolest shit. Like, some of the coolest comic books. I found, like, the first appearance of Deadpool for 75 cents. I found Contra Force a long time ago for the NES for 99 cents at a thrift store. I found found tons of shit, dude. You, you know, I find some shit, man. So, yeah. I guess I'm lucky. I get lucky. You know, sometimes I'm cold, sometimes I'm hot. Alright, let me show you some Super Nintendo games, some box games I got. Spider-Man and X-Men. I already had these games. I just needed the So I got the boxes. So I got that box. Stunt Race FX. Got it boxed. Street Fighter 2. Got it boxed and complete. This one came with the manual. And then the last is a... Once again, it's not that rare, dude. I, you can always find it on eBay. But it's a fucking expensive game. Now, I already had the game. Believe it or not, I got this game in high school for free. Like, a dude, we traded, we, we borrowed a game, we just never borrowed back the games. I ended up keeping the game. It's not like I did it on purpose, we just forgot about it. And, I mean, this was before this game was sought after and really expensive and rare, so it was just like another, borrowing another Super Nintendo game. But, I just had it loose. I, I never thought I'd get it boxed. I got it boxed now. I bought the box. The box is in good, it's in pretty good condition. But, you know, I got the game for free, and I finally got a box. I saw the box on eBay, just the box alone, and, I, and it was about to end in, like, 15 minutes. I was like, oh, shit, I'm bidding on this, and I got it. I, I really was never planning on getting this box at all. It's not I don't have the manual, but I do have the inlay. And that's Mega Man X3. I got it with a protective case. You like that, right? You like that, huh? Yeah, so this game, man, I don't know how much it goes for without the manual, but the game alone goes for over, like, 130 bucks. Just a cart. And I've seen it boxed and complete for like almost $300. Like, so I don't know how much my copy would be worth with just the box and the game and the inlay with no manual. So, I don't know. I guess I just got lucky, huh? Never thought I'd get this box. I have every Mega Man except for Mega Man X2. Well, I have every Mega Man X except for Mega Man X2. I have X1, X3, X4, X5, X6. I got, you know, X7, X8, X Collection. I just need Mega Man X2. Mega Man X2 is fucking expensive now, man. I remember that shit used to be like $25 a couple years ago. Now it's just like $70. It's like prices of games, man. I swear there's hype beasts for games now. No bullshit. Okay, last thing I'm going to show you are my NES games. I got some pretty cool NES games. So let me know what you guys think. All right. And of course I got them boxed. First one, Wheel of Fortune. Just because it's the shittiest one I've got. This time it's a really good condition box. Sky Kid. Mint condition. Boxed. Tiger Healy. Mint condition. I think this one's complete. Some of them are complete. Some of them are just boxed. Uh, Desert Commander. Boxed. Incomplete, I think. This one's complete. RC Pro-Am. This one's, yeah, pretty good condition. Got me Commando. Um, I got me both Top Guns. 
first and second one. Um, this one actually came with the original receipt. This one's still in the shrink wrap. Um, it's not sealed, but the re the receipt came with it. And it's, I saw the receipt. It's from 1990, and the person bought it at Kmart for like 40 bucks. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me for this fucking game. I fucking cry if I bought this for 40 dollars. Um, all right, next three are pretty cool. I got me Burry Fighter. This game's pretty cool. I like it. Um, this one's pretty uncommon game. It's not that expensive, I don't think. I got it for real, real cheap. I got, I, you know, I didn't get it for the asking price they're asking for on eBay. But, uh, right now they have a box one for like $75 on eBay. It's fucking ridiculous. But it's a Zenda Intergalactic Ninja. I really wanted this game because as a kid I used to buy uh, Ninja Turtle Archie comics. And used to have ads for this back in the day. I never saw the game in stores, man. I wanted to test it out because it's from Konami. But this game is like man condition, dude. Look at that shit, huh? Yeah, you like that. All right, this this one I was so happy to get. I already got the game, and I had I got the map. I don't have the manual, but I wanted the box because this is like an essential game that needs to be in every person's collection, well, every person's NES collection. I'm sure everybody already has this game if you have a Nintendo. But I got this man condition box. I finally got the Legend of Zelda, the the gold version box. I'm telling you, man, this is probably the best condition box I own for the Nintendo, man. Like, for real. Next to Castlevania. Castlevania is another essential game. Metro is another essential game. Mario Brothers. Um, like, I already had the game, and I had I had the, like, gray box Zelda. I don't have the gray Zelda cart, but I wanted the original Zelda box, so fucking got that. Happy to finally get that, man. I don't gotta fucking look that up and worry about getting it. And the last thing, alright, guys. Tell me if I pay too much for this, alright? I just want to know. I don't know how much this goes for. So, uh... I paid forty nine ninety five for this. Alright? I'm going to show you what it is. Okay? Tell me if I paid too much. I don't know. I'm going to explain to you, alright? What it comes with. So, I got me stack up for the Nintendo. This box is pretty good condition, man. Uh, the only thing is, yeah, it does have a dent. Um... Now, before you guys get all crazy, like, oh, shit, stack up. It's not complete. So, comes with the box. Very good condition box. Comes with uh, the the game. Like, the game is in mint condition. The manual is in mint condition. Um, came with the poster, and it came with the inlay. So, it comes with none of the pieces. Now, I don't know how much is worth without any of the pieces. So that's why I'm asking you. I don't know if I paid too much for this. Um, but if I did, man, you know what? Fuck it. I rarely see this game boxed. I, I don't even I didn't even own the game. Like, I've never seen it boxed. So I, I mainly got it for the box, man. Like, because I know that the game complete, I've seen it complete for over like $500, $800. Like, with all the pieces. So I don't know how much it, it's worth with just the box, the game, and the manual, and the poster, and the inlay. Without the pieces, so if you guys have any knowledge on that, let me know. Cause I paid fifty for this. I found it at a retro game store. Um, I was shocked that it was forty nine ninety nine, cause they usually really overpriced their shit. And I, I guess the guy that works there, he uh, he prices his shit based on eBay auctions, and there was no eBay auction for this box, so he probably didn't know how to price it. I mean, I've seen the game for buy it now for like 35, 40 bucks. So you probably just base it off of that and just got the box, man. So I don't know. Let me know how much you think this is worth with the box. So I got that. I was I, I totally forgot about this game. I was never expecting to really buy this game. And if I did, I was gonna wait till last to get it because this game's fucking expensive. So yeah, guys, that's it. Those are my pickups. Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. And yeah, peace.